You also have multiple arcade cabinets that have different types of clues on them, but we don't know if they're canon or not because at the same time, while some have like glitch trap on them, you have others that have the joy of creation on them. So are these all games that are made inside of the Fazbear universe or are they fake? Because clearly they can't all be fake because they do have characters that exist in the FNAF series. I, I already pressed the recording button. This is the start of the podcast. Well, welcome. Today's today's topic. Uh, before but I'm not, we don't need to introduce Chubbs. You know who Chubbs is. Today's topic: Five Nights at Freddy's. Did you just really mute yourself? You make this a very hard, very hard podcast to do. So today we're there. You go. We're talking right, about the FNAF series. Why? Because I hate myself. <laughs> that's that's it. That's it. That's the entire reason. Um, you know, only only a man who would love himself would, would never talk about that. <laughs> Chubbs, why don't you why don't you introduce yourself to everybody here? Uh, let me just get the uh, the ad read real quick. Hold on. Just... He brings it up. It's like this five page go. script. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm Twitch on TV slash Chubby Tell what's going on. I play tail right now i do a lot of things i'm like token black support guy i just like a lot of stuff like comedy and everything else so come follow me yeah let's you went so fast you cut out so basically for those of you who didn't hear what he said he's playing sans undertale uh he's a token black character because i guess that's just how he self-identifies so you know good good for you good for you look if if I can enjoy myself as the supporting black streamer guy who's overly emotional at, like, the most hype of times, I think that's, like, the best place I can be right now, okay? There's there's so many fun guys like that. And, like, yeah, it's not like I show speed and yada, 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 but that's just how black streamers are, okay? We just like to get hype about everything is what we do. Well, let's um, get hype about Freddy Fazbear and all of Freddy, Freddy, Freddy Five Bear and all of his <laughs> and all of his friends, you know. So, so, so where do you want to start the FNAF conversation uh, here, Mister Ostentatious? Well, this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm actually <laughs> working on a new series. In fact, wow. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh. This is the second series to my channel, with the first one being a series about Sonic Adventure and talking mm-hmm. about kind of like the game that, you know, that got me so autistic about the hedgehog. So now, naturally, the, the progression is to break down the entire Pizzaplex and Security Breach room by room to discuss what collectibles you find, the storytelling elements that are hidden in the design, and what animatronics naturally spawn in what rooms, tying it to why they would be in those rooms. Because from Sonic Adventure to I'm gonna... I, I, I just, I want to clarify this. I want to clarify this. You went from the game series that's related to furries and autism that you have to run from things from to the game that's about furries and autism that you have to run from things. But yeah, I'm pretty good ones in the, yeah, yeah, I mean, you haven't really changed topics. I mean, it's just changed a generation, but you haven't really changed um, <laughs> topics here. I mean... Truthfully, truthfully, which fan base is better? All right, FNAF or Sonic? That's just. Oh my gosh! In my videos, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards yeah. the FNAF fan base. They, uh, I, yeah. I, I love, I love everybody who watches and supports my videos. Uh, so don't get me wrong on that. And I'm clearly, I'm a Sonic fan at heart. But right between all of my Sonic videos. They'd usually cap out around 2,000 views. My best one being an 11K view video, which was my Sonic Adventure reimagining. Uh, truly cherish that. But I've made two, right. like, real FNAF videos outside of, like, me playing the game. And they they went crazy. They saw my theory video, and that was 
like an instant almost 9k within a span of days okay I, like to be fair the FNAF community just jumps on shit so quick like if you if you actually make a video that just says i solved everything in FNAF like four weeks later you'll have half a million views like that that's just how it is it doesn't matter if it's good i i'm gonna be honest it doesn't oh, matter how much effort thing, unless good thing I'm, mine I'm, is good all right it was a it was a good theory, I would say. It was, uh, it was a good banger. It was a good banger. I gotta be honest. But I, I was, I was, I was looking. At, actually, before you suggested this topic, I was looking at this at work, uh, like an hour ago, and and I was on uh, on YouTube because I didn't sit around and do nothing at work. Uh, but it was, it was literally a FNAF theory that was two hours, I think, in like fourteen minutes long, and it came out like four weeks ago, and now it has like five hundred and fifty-four thousand uh, views. Is I don't, it I don't know how many process? subscribers. Yes. Yeah, that yeah. One. That's like the that basis one. of my theory. Dual process. You need to watch that video. I'm just gonna. It, it it recontextualizes all of the early FNAF into a story that actually just it makes sense. Like it's not a perfect theory. There's definitely things that could be tweaked and worked on a little bit because that's where my FNAF yeah. world theory came from. Was working off of dual process. As well as John FNAF, because John John FNAF, ooh, he's he's so he's so cool, he's so cool, he's so autistic, but he's, he's so cool. Uh, <laughs> we, we 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 love autism. Yeah, we're we're autism positive here because I positively look, it is, have it. Look, it is Pride Month, and we are pridefully autistic. Um, that's, but that's how I put yeah. that. <laughs> but yeah, that that video from Dual Process makes a lot of claims about the Five Nights at Freddy's series, and I think a lot of the points they brought up are going to be controversial, especially because it goes against <clears throat> popular headcanon about the series. Like uh, the biggest point of contention is saying that there is not two spirits in Golden Freddy, but there is just one, being the crying child, who is Cassie. Yeah. Which, to further that point, what is so interesting about that is, in the books, this is mm. where we get the Cassidy name drop. It was in the security logbook, and people believed it to be this black-haired pigtail girl, uh, which was believed to be the second spirit of Golden Freddy. But, then... Right. Right. I haven't gotten to this part in Security Breach yet because this is going to probably be towards the end of the series because it's in the basement. But there is one door mm. that you specifically go through. And on the door is the FNAF 4 bed. But it's styled as, like, I want to say, it's, it's one of those hospital beds because it has the wheels on the bottom. And I think it has, like, an IV yeah. next to it. But it's that black-haired yeah. girl. And what I'm thinking that might be is Steel Wool clarifying that that character that we have made up is the same character as who would have been sleeping in that bed, which would have been the crying child, saying that that's Cassidy. Because you go past that door, you unwind the box, and what do you get? Yeah. A Nightmare Own doll. Hmm. Okay. And there is not a lot of... There, there is not a lot of theories um, about a lot of the basement sections. Like, we still... Yeah. Uh, not a lot of people have talked about the Indo daycare section. Uh, not mm -hmm. a lot of people have talked about different writings on the walls and stuff like that. There is a lot from the basement that has yet to truly be discussed. And what I'm hoping for my video series is that once we get into those later sections... Because I'm starting from the top and I'm going to work my way down. Because I feel like... Mm -hmm. I feel like the higher parts, while they have important things to note, a lot of what is not being talked about comes from those utility hallways and everything in the basement. Because not only if you go so far down, you get into where Glitch Trap is, which is the FNAF 6 pizzeria, but you also are finding things like Help One and Two minigame rooms, where it's the areas that we visit in the DLC of Dreadbear from Help Wanted. But mm. in some type of deconstructed way inside of the pizza plex. So it's like, that's not somewhere where people are going to be going. That's not a 
normal place for people to just be visiting and be like, oh, that's really cool that they recreated these things. That is a section that would only be accessible by employees, like Freddy says, because people are not supposed to be down there. So why are these recreations of the Dreadbear DLC down in the basement? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna like point this out here now. All right, FNAF's map design is one of the like most confusing type of things. If you put it in reality, it is one of the most confusing type of things to ever like imagine, like on like a sheet. Yep. Because every every or almost every game, right? It, it's it's like you ever seen like the the clip of uh, them building the the Krusty Krab. And then, like, the Krusty Krab 2 is, like, built, like, on top of that. It's, like, they do that, but they do that, like, five different times. And it's, I'm, like, trying to imagine how far deep these people have digged down like it was Minecraft for all of these different areas, restaurants, laboratories, whatever else, just to make this whole, like, burger of, you know, facilities. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, Why? It's so bad. Why is this a thing? I, and that I tasked myself to go room by room. Like, I'm going to structure, uh, like, this first episode, I'm going to be looking at the fourth floor because it's the smallest one. It's the highest one, as well as any of, like, the daycare section, which you can only visit once. I'm going to be getting the collectibles that you have to pick up and mentioning right. those. So the first video is going to kind of be contained to that. Then the second one, we're going to be going through the third floor. Second, first, basement. And then we'll see if the basement has enough to be its own video or if i'll combine it into the sub basement where you find yourself in the fnaf 6 location because lord knows there's going to be a lot there to talk about but that, that's why today's topic is fnaf because i've been driving myself insane today because this is technically the first day of actually like playing through it right now i'm in l chips trying to get through the fnaf section which i hate and you can't really cheese it anymore because they patched it too much nope <sighs> no, I, I, I just, I really have to play through it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta play, you gotta play glitchless. You gotta play glitchless, buddy. <laughs> you gotta, I'm sorry, you gotta play a game how it was intended to play, buddy. Yeah, Steel Wool, if you're Come listening on. to this, I went, I want to cheese the game, all right? I don't want to play it again. I've already 100% game breaks. Exactly. I want game breaks. Exactly. I want game breaks. I want to speed run the game in two minutes. I'm just gonna download. That's what like I a, want. I'm just gonna download a free roam cam so I can just fly up and hopefully not be touched. Because what sucks <laughs> is I found this one little clip where you can hop onto a desk and then hop on top of an arcade yeah. cabinet. Okay. And at first it was working for me. Like Monty was sitting there. He looks. He's. He looks like a smiling dog looking up at me. Like, run, run, <laughs> run. And then, yeah, and Roxy then gets stuck behind him, and I can make it throughout the, like, the time, but then right as the time hits, something happens to the characters, and then I got jump scared by Roxy, restarting the section. And I don't know if there's a way around this, but I also hate, it's the only section that I genuinely just do not care for. Uh, it, it's just, you try to put classic FNAF gameplay into a 3D environment and it just does not work well. The cameras are too yucky to work with to genuinely be a fun experience. Like, on console, I I would never want to replay that again because trying to scroll through the cameras with your trigger buttons, no. Ah! Alright, no! (laughs) They should honestly only make the camera system like a... a triggered cinematic i feel like that's like the only thing they need to do for like the I, the the, the, like the, the, the is, going around because no one uses the cameras as security breach there's too many of them there's no there's good too way too. to look around the pizza plex mm-hmm. that makes sense to do it without just to do it for fun because the cameras are kind of like some of them will be on top of each other So try to click to specific ones, like in this L-chip security office section, it's hard. Because sometimes you'll click into the wrong camera because they are right on top of each other. It is not planned out well enough. And that you took the way to cheese it out of the game? Why? Why? The only people that are finding that are people struggling with your damn camera system. You gotta play the game as intended. You have to struggle. 
okay? Yeah, you just got I don't own... I, I, you, you, don't, you don't have enough hate in your heart, though. Like, look, if Roxy can come after you in the cameras and everything else, but this, this is intended. It's a horror game, okay? You, you have to play it like a normal horror game. You're going to play it like you're, you're, you're trying to survive and you have no information whatsoever, even though you can hear these animatronics stomping from across the goddamn pizzaplex, okay? No. You gotta play the right way, bro. It just doesn't make right sense. Way. Having the doors, like, you have to run between the doors and close them and look at your cameras. Right. That doesn't <laughs> work well with how it is structured because, like, Monty, literally, one of the times, he was at one door, and once he left, I opened it, and next thing <laughs> you know, he's at the other door already in the fucking room and killing me. So it's like... I didn't do anything yeah, wrong. You, okay, but I want you to think to yourself. All right, just 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 to to, to even understand, how does a Five Nights at Freddy's door actually work? You close it, and apparently, being closed is what takes power away because for some reason, the door's natural state is to be open, which open makes it slide up. So mm -hmm. it being held up somehow doesn't consume any power, but the second that it just slams shut and you would think like nothing really would be stopping or like taking power from it, that's that's when your power drains. Well, well you could say it's like a piston fed door or something like that, right? Like you have like a piston pushing this door all the way down or something that... through the wall. Uh, <laughs> so... and... <laughs> why, why would you make a door like that who out here is like you know what whenever this door closes I want it to be sucking up that electricity bill yeah, yeah oh well that and if any animatronics bang on it oh it's integrity is so bad that the power just starts to run out like it starts to right. short circuit yeah FNAF 1 like, you get Foxy smacking the door and it's like har, 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 that's 10% of your power <laughs> like, Roxy fucking charges into it. Imagine, it's like, you, imagine you're like you order a pizza, and you know they come and they're like delivering it to you, but they knock on your door, and you just mm -hmm. run out of power, so all of your like windows and shit opens up. Like you have a neighbor that's trying to come visit, and they're like, "Hi," everything just opens. Just want to let you know my electricity bill is uh it's not paid for yet. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Every door fucking open. <laughs> the electric company's like, oh, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't pay that bill. Well, guess what? Everybody's welcome in. Like, like the the physics are just how how FNAF works. IRL would not work. I'm sorry, it it, no. it does not work. If, if you think of anything that is security based, it is the worst security you could ever have. Yeah. For a for a place that is filled with multiple serial killers, this is <laughs> well, that's to be determined. I, I, okay. Sorry, a serial killer and a psychopath that might be a little bit, like, down bad for a, a VR game AI oh, character. Oh, wait, right. are, you talking uh, about, are you talking about Vanny? Is that the second I, murderer? I guess, I, I, I guess she's not really a murderer murderer. Or I, you know what's interesting? Um, I, don't, I don't fucking know much so, with Vanny. John FNAF recently did an interview with Steel Wool Studios, which this is the reason yeah. I started this entire thing was because of this interview. Like, it's kind of been on the back boiler. I was like, you know, should I do it? I don't really want to. This seems like a very daunting task. But then that yeah. interview came out, and he was like, yeah, you guys haven't figured out everything. Um, there's still so much to, like, be found out in security breach. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, fine. You know what? If there's so much to be found out, one of us is going to go crazy finding it all. And <laughs> it's going to be me. You guys haven't solved it yet. Yeah, he's like, well, you, you, you guys are wrong. Y'all are wrong. What do you mean? All the, all, the, all the evidence. I mean, we even solved your, like, stupid, impossible locked box puzzle. You haven't solved it yet. I know. It's not solved. You, we, we have more books coming out. So there's more lore, which means you you don't even have the confirmed parts. You, you don't yeah. even know. <laughs> it's going to be so, it's so bad, man. It's so bad. But I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through the series. It's probably going to get, it's going to probably go into the school year. Because knowing me, yeah. these videos are going to be very slow to come out. Uh, right. I, I can hope to do a week by week video release. But the fact that I have to scour each level, get footage of all of the important notes, right. rec script, record, Edit it all together mm -hmm. 
and then add in music tracks so that people actually want to watch it because it'd be boring if it were just me talking yeah yeah oh non-copyrighted music too you gotta make sure you get nah I, I i just do the final security breach music i don't care oh well see that's fine yeah that doesn't actually doesn't uh but oh my god I, no I, you're gonna be stuck. And, by, and by the time when you get that done you know what another game's gonna get teased and the movie the second movie might maybe yeah. have a slight teaser you know oh my god <laughs> if if they release like if this series does well and people like actually watch it and then next thing you know they announce like five nights at freddy's carnival with like a five times bigger map that's it i'm just deleting the channel it's just not happening i'm, I'm not doing it all right i'm not doing it i did it the first time some other channel can pick up the yeah. reins i swear to god oh my god scott's like yes we made another game it's 16 like, times the size of security breach <laughs> we, we decided bigger is better but we also we just you guys hate love... ostentatious <laughs> this story is solely about the mimics legacy but roxanne is in it don't worry guys don't worry don't, and, okay and we got also, the foxes in it roxanne has been given 20 percent bigger thighs we thought, I, you, as a we, company, <laughs> this is what was important to add in. We wanted to show you the toy prototype of Roxanne, which just made her more furry bait. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. You know, what type of toy did you, you think we were talking you, about? Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> Rox, Have you watched Astral Smith? Uh, I've seen a, a lot of his content, but I don't know what, what you're going to be. Because uh, he he tried playing a uh, God, oh, it was either it was either Security Breach or it was the Resident Evil thirty game with like the puppets and like Muppet sides, like Sesame Street type type whatever. Yeah. Right? Sesame but he Street did one of these streams, Evil? some something like that. I don't remember what it's called, uh, but it's, it's a really good game. No, not Hello uh, Neighbor. Is it like no, not you... Hello Neighbor? Is it is uh, it the one where you go Resident... through like sewer tunnels? Uh, sort of. Well, you're on like the set of like Sesame Street. Yeah. The whole thing. But... Like it literally is just Resident. Uh, hold on. I can I can find it. Resident Evil Sesame. It is called uh. My friendly neighborhood. That's what oh it is. yeah, that's what I was trying to yeah. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah. Which is I mean I, I mean that makes sense. So he does a uh, like he does like a triple stream with this. So he does a Zoom call stream. He does a Twitch stream and he does a YouTube stream. And I swear to God, I don't know how he didn't realize it, but because he had the Zoom chat like on the screen as well. Right. And the for for like ten minutes of the video, the Zoom chat is just filled with fucking Roxanne food and cock dog. I, I'm like, why? Why? The, why the, not? the FNAF. The FNAF. Why not? FNAF Bro, like, I just broke my stop, phone. Stop. Case. It's because of Five Nights at Freddy's, man. It's because of Five Nights at Freddy's. See, this is why we don't talk about Roxanne or things happen. Bad, bad things happen when Roxanne's brought up. Yeah, really. Just, Roxanne's coding is really weird as well because, like, there's just something about how she tracks you down. Like, uh, I've tried to avoid her a good couple of ways in this Monty, or not this Monty, but the L chip office security section. And being mm -hmm. on top of the box, there's a box in the room that if you're on top of it, uh, it doesn't stop her because she'll come into the room yeah. and her AI, you can see it like try to go towards you, but then also try to back up until eventually right. it finally locks to the path and then just goes yeah. for you. So Oh, it goes like diagonal. It's like, it's fine. yeah, but you can literally see like, she is so indecisive. She's going backwards and forwards and backwards and forward. And then she just finally is like, you know, fuck it. Fuck it. And they get me. Can Roxanne I... being indecisive, Doug. Have you not like seen any game that she's in? Any any VR game that she's in? Any any like of the the AAA dialogue that she has that is completely indecisive about herself? Oh, like, dog, do, what, what, what? Oh no! Don't worry, Doc. You good? Don't worry, just keep talking. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, like, and here, and you know what? I'm gonna say this now. I if they make another game, including. Uh, the or, or like I guess making the what's it called, the Pizza Plex trilogy when they make the the the, the next Pizza Plex esque game, whatever else. Okay, I I don't I don't care for the the main crew. I don't I don't care for Roxanne. It would be cool if if Bonnie's somewhere. That that would be funny. 
but I, I don't really care for the main crew being back because I don't think they need to be back. And I don't think Roxanne needs to be fan. I just dropped a fork somewhere. I don't think that Roxanne needs to be back because that's just it's just fan service. She already had her fan service actually a lot with Cassie you now. Not the um, fucking cops passing by. Guys, I heard like the one I, second of siren. I, 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 heard, I, heard... I live in the ghettos. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I live in the hood, Batman. <laughs> Batman. You want to know how I got these scars? I you tried know, breaking Oglock. down the FNAF Pizzaplex room by room. <laughs> they call me the Crip Prince Batman. <laughs> uh, and now that I'm talking about it in the podcast, there really is no going back from this decision. Now people are going to watch this video. They know that I had already thought about it. They know that I'm working on it. So I, I yeah. can't. I can't not do it now. I've, you I've you can't not do it. You're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. You're done. You're you messed I've, up. I've committed. Um, but what I was going to say, even though my brain went to like three different topics at once in the last 30 seconds. Yeah, talk about um, bunnies. I swear. No, four. Four. Batman. Four topics. Okay, he's stuck. He's stuck, buddy. Um, I would like them to focus on just Mimic on moon for moon and fucking sun or i guess what eclipse is what is what he's called now so whatever else since apparently he's also just the cusp of every book to game theory connection now actually um, um i i so I, i've already explored the daycare section that that part's already yeah. done and yeah. something that i find very interesting because we know that sun and moon haven't been there forever Sun and Moon were added later. But right. if you look around, you'll notice that there's a lot of like playing blocks that you could stack and stuff. And a lot of them have design elements of underwater theming. So, I, mm. I feel like Foxy has a bigger connection to the daycare than what we originally thought. Because even if you go right outside of the daycare, uh, you have Kids Cove which is that entire little foxy section. So right. I, I want to know what happens at that point. What happened between the time that Foxy was probably the one, like the leader of the daycare area to when Sun and Moon came to replace him? Yeah, because they, they probably did, like, a whole, like, remarket, or I guess rebrand in general. After switching from the originals, they kind of went into, again, the Roxanne, the Moon, the Monty era, that type of thing. And then Bonnie probably left at the same time, too. Well, um, Bonnie... Bonnie was there. Bonnie... Bonnie, Bonnie was Bull, there. Okay, Bonnie Bull was there, Well, we know. fair. In, in Ruin, we get to pass by Foxy's Log Ride. So we know that there was right. plans for entire Foxy sections, but I don't think right. those, I don't know if those made it to the light of day because they could have, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. But we do know that Bonnie was taken out of commission without it being an expectation because uh, obviously there's a lot of those notes that talk about how, uh, how do we explain why Monty's taking over? What's the explanation for Bonnie's absence from these places? A lot of, mm. you know, misunderstanding of what is happening. And in that interview between Steel Wool and John FNAF, I love calling him that, we get a lot of conversation about, well, we don't get a lot, but we do get a hint that there is more to the relationship between Monty, Freddy, and Bonnie than what has been discussed. Because one of the biggest theories that plagued the early security breach was that Bonnie was destroyed to help build Burn Trap. But that's not possible. And it's not right. possible because we see Bonnie in ruin. We see that he was just decommissioned by what is most likely to be assumed Monty. So I you do see him then. Yeah, and Ruin he's not actually. deconstructed. He's just destroyed. So he couldn't have been used to build up Burn Trap. Um, his parts... I don't... He wasn't part of the Burn Trap storyline. He has another story that relates to whatever is happening between Monty and Freddy right now. So there's... Mm. 
I, I do think eventually we'll probably be returning to the Pizzaplex because there yeah. is still there is still storylines that are going on that aren't solved yet between Freddy, Monty. Uh, there's also those points uh, after you shatter Chica, and what's important about this, you take her voice box. Right. But yet, throughout the rest of Security Breach, her deconstructed, voice boxless person is still crying. You can hear her crying without a voice box. So mm-hmm. I, I do think there is some type of possession going on with that, within the Pizzaplex. I think there is something more yeah. than this uh, just AI. I do believe AI plays a huge factor because we have... The mimic which is clear ai influence but i think there is remnant agony some type of something that is furthering the state of what this ai is at that is controlling the that has some control and influence over everything because well it's okay i'm sorry finish finish what you're saying because i'm just saying that there has to be a reason that chica who doesn't have a voice box is yeah. somehow realistically crying. Well, it's it's weird. Okay, I think, and and this is what ruin makes really uh, complicated. Is because we switch from the fact that yeah, it's it's like remnant, and, you know, and, and spirits and all other stuff. Much to just AI just breaks reality. Because if we just think of like you know the what, what's the the Vanny mask that Cassie has yeah. that just lets her warp reality in general, um, and still affects everybody, including the prototype Freddy, as well. Like just just like her presence is just not there. Yeah. There like there's so many weird things that don't make sense, and not in a remnant aspect. Just like in how the fuck aspect. do you go through boxes and shit? How 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 do you how do you like activate IRL no clip by putting on a mask. How What's does that work? super interesting and I think further proves the importance of my most recent video. There is a ton of FNAF world. Uh, people speculate right. that putting on the Vanny mask is the equivalent to going to the flip side. Because you're going through glitches, you're going, like, the world is not what it seems. Right. So how does that work? Well, I'm not completely sure. I do plan on doing some type of breakdown. Uh, yeah. Once I once I get all the evidence together of all the important parts of FNAF Security Breach and Ruin, because after I go through Security Breach, I do plan on doing uh, episodes dedicated to Ruin. I might break it down chapter by chapter, or I might just kill myself, jump the shark, and do it all at once. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Because I, I just, I hate myself, apparently. Give yourself time to work on projects and make them fleshed out and not burn yourself out. That's yeah. what I'm going to tell you. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Oh. But okay. uh, there is a lot to be explored with the Vanny Mask. Uh, I feel like there are a lot of plot threads that have yet to be really touched on in FNAF. Uh, I, I, as I've talked about, I'm going to bring up my videos a lot because I do think these points are important. So if they don't watch this that video, they're watching this video. So, you know, at least they get it. But right. I, what's important about new FNAF, we're, we're looking at multiple stories. It's not just one big story thread that right. all leads to one point. It's multiple different stories that have different importance to the series. <laughs> like... The all staff meeting was a super big one. Um, this this is one of the bigger side stories of Security Breach, where we learn through duffel bag messages and stuff that there is an all staff meeting. But then we get to the room where it looks like that all staff meeting would have taken place, and it is destroyed. Like there was a struggle, which leads people to believe that hey, these guys weren't fired; they were killed. But then it's like, why were they killed? Why wouldn't you just lay them off? That would be easier. Uh, and you know that's less to hide from the cops but then you know i don't know if this links or not but you also have things like the scooper that you find in the basement of ruin that's weird i i I, like i I don't get it i don't get it because because then that is a 
Oh god, my brain with yeah. this, this lore shit. Yeah, this is what I stumbled cause upon. Because this, this is the place where Mimic is resting. So you're trying to connect to the books of where Mimic is like stuck now at this point. Right. But but you're not also in sister locations, so there's just another fucking scooper. Well, it's it's but, definitely not the same scooper. People can argue scoop. that it's been upgraded or something, but it is a completely different machine. It is. The, it is. the design the, comes from a literal scoop to like right. this alien looking suction thing and what's also right. important in one of the endings you also learn about multiple missing children right so something uh, is happening people so are dying there are dead children which you can say that FNAF security breach is as childish or whatever but clearly yeah. there are still death deaths uh, going on in this pizza plex and they have to be happening for some reason whether it be the ai trying to mimic afton or if it's something to do with like the scooper in the basement there is a reason that these kids are going missing now but then where are they are they in the staff bots which scream like children in ruin are they somehow in the or not the staff bots but the like little mop wet floor signs that are on the floor that you deactivate to find bonnie what is happening with the souls? Where are the people? Where are the employees? Where are these things? Because then in Help Wanted 2, one of the endings you get where the person you're playing as is dead and put into the mask bot that gives Cassie the mask. And then in FNAF Help Wanted, or not Help Wanted 2, but in Ruin, when you look at this mask bot with your mask on it is the only one that looks different compared to all of the other uh bots right so what is happening what is the there are so many stories and it is stressful i will not i i will give that to everybody it is stressful i i have just started to dive into this world that's why i need to do the security breach pizza plex breakdown before i can really start theorizing because i need to know all the pieces of this pizza plex right to, to i mean i mean yeah because to be fair it feels like everything from every game is in that is in fucking pizza plex <laughs> it, it literally feels like everything is there because it's like okay now now you have you might have people that are stuffed into the, the like robots like mass robots or janitor robots whatever else Right. There's still the there's still the room where you know it's all the the glowing faces and the birthday party table and, and that type of setup. You know you have all that to look at. And then you but have then the you, Afton staff bot family in the sticky you have note staff room. Bot family. You, you have you still, the FNAF four yeah. bedroom. Oh my god! Just just a quick Dude. breakdown of everything that can come to the top of my mind. We have FNAF uh, dread bear locations in the pizza place. We have the FNAF four. Uh, house that you go to watch those movies in the basement with the exotic butters right. in it you have right. the all staff meeting you have all the missing children you have the vanny vanessa situation going on you have the burn right. trap in the basement but then you have the mimic that's in a sub basement we don't know if those are the same or different entities you also he has have the glitch costumes. trap. yeah no he also yeah. has costumes from the circus you also have multiple um arcade cabinets that have different types of clues on them but we don't know if they're canon or not because at the same time while some have like glitch trap on them you have others that have the joy of creation on them so are these all games that are made inside of the fazbear universe or are they fake because clearly they can't all be fake because they do have characters that exist in the fnaf series you have fred bear then there's also music man like why the hell do you have this giant ass robot crawling through the fucking holes of the pizza plex and then the tiny little music mans that crawl through the vents uh we don't understand why vanny has her position but it's it's assumed to be because of glitch trap but is glitch trap related to the mimic in the basement or is glitch trap his own entity or do they work together to try to free him or is it the mexus robot what is it? What is Mexus? Mexus isn't linked to the glitch trap, but he's still a rabbit. He's still some type of protocol in there trying to protect whatever from releasing the mimic. What is happening in these games? It is stressful. That is the reason this series needs to exist. And then you still have the scoper, which still then alludes to there's still more like not like fun time and uh, animatronics, but sister location. But there is stuff. But all being you have scooped. is all you have is molten Freddy. 
Oh my god! And then there's Tangle in the basement? He's still still fucking down there. (laughs) Yeah, you have Tangle in the basement, which doesn't have the same Molten Freddy head. Uh, No, it's not the same Molten Freddy head at all. It's just regular Funtime Freddy. Why is he there? Why isn't it Molten Freddy's head? And it doesn't just have... And it doesn't just have Funtime Freddy's head. It has Chica in there. It has the original animatronics in there. It has parts of the puppet, baby. Everything is in there. But it's It's not the versions that we saw in FNAF 6. It is... Because it's not entered. It's not entered. It's not. It's not entered, but it's It's not like Scrap Baby's head. It's just Baby's head. It's just... It's its own, like conglomerate of just the robots are fucking done and are tired because it sleeps the fuck does it sleep but, for but, I but in understand. ruin no but in ruin you get a tiny little glimpse that tangle right escapes he is in the main walls of the pizza plex he's no longer in the basement right. by ruin so he gets out right but that leads to what is tangle because either there are only two solid options that i can really see happening for this being that with tangle being so close to the scooper room that there are may there's maybe a chance we're somewhere close to the sister location and that's maybe how he gets the original components from the animatronics that's that's the first thing the second thing is that he is an amalgamation of all the fnaf ar animatronics I mean, it's true, but heck, maybe they even, which is really interesting if they did, maybe they even uh, 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 scooped our boy body. <laughs> oh, God. No, because that's not even he, possible. He, 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 okay, but to be fair, he has that hole in his chest, though. Like, bro. To... <laughs> yeah, but he also has damage marks that do indicate that it was Monty that did. That's, and, and, and that's true, too, but then it's, it's weird because everything that is, like, sort of damaged again has its own ai thing it has its own weird monster like primal ai so even the scooper has a fucking ai yeah it grabs the mimic from his it costume. grabs the mimic it is it is sentient why is the scoop sentient nobody fucking knows Remnant, again, probably why? there has to well, be and, and some this, type of soul did, uh, there's does some... this link to prototype freddy suit dude does this link to the but, prototype freddy suit right, 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 right. I don't... in ruin you also have prototype freddy but i do believe that's just the freddy we play as and i think some i think over time you know the writing would have like faded from freddy like you know how in right. toy story 2 when they paint over woody's foot to hide andy's signature mm-hmm. I think that's kind of what right. happened. You know, that that paint just wore off. And that's probably why Freddy can't connect to the pizzeria's security system. Because in the beginning of Ruin, because now that I'm like overanalyzing everything, Freddy makes mention that he cannot connect to the security system anymore. Because he tries to update the user base to let them know that Gregory is there. But he is unable to make that connection. And I believe it has to do with him being a prototype and something about how the code is running throughout the Pizzaplex just interferes with his system, not allowing him to reconnect. Which is good for us. Right. Because if he was able to reconnect... <laughs> Like <laughs> this is what I'm going he, through. But okay, but he okay, so he can't connect. But in, in you know half of the endings, his head gets taken. Right. Uh. Uh-huh. And, and and then he doesn't have his head, which leads me to believe I I personally think the only ending that that is most likely canon is the princess quest ending because we play through princess quest one through three that. Right. Freeze Vanny, but not really, because then we have the right. Princess Quest 4 ending. But we have Princess Quest 1 through 3, which is how Freddy gets deconstructed, which is where we find him in the Phaser Blast section, where that happens. And yeah. we know in that ending, we free Vanny, or Vanessa, and we leave with the Freddy head. So that would right. make sense as what would be the canon ending. Especially seeing that in Ruin, when we see that same arcade cabinet, it has a sword through it. It has been beaten. Without a doubt, it has been beaten. And right. then I guess there's just another Princess Quest machine that we don't get to see that was in the FNAF 6 pizzeria, being the Princess Quest 4 machine. But then it also Which... brings up who is the princess? Because if. If it is the crying child or Cassidy, mm-hmm. why? Why would it be them? Where, where is Cassidy? 
Or I, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. Tell me the I answer. Everyone, I don't think anyone knows. I think they just think that he's also buried, you know, deep underground in like five layers of fucking concrete and cave. Another, okay. Another issue, though. Um, since we're talking about it, this isn't FNAF. This is related to FNAF, but it's not about the games in particular. It's the community. Uh, everyone wants to say that, like, when when I make a video, one of the biggest responses I see are people mm-hmm. who will not look at the different games because they don't want to, which I can understand the sentiment, but you're also restricting yourself because now you're not looking at your full evidence list. Right. Uh, there's a lot of people that want to tell me that I'm wrong and then tell me a theory that they have, and they tell it to me like it's fact, which none of it's factual. We don't have any 100% answers on anything, which... right. I can get it if you want to share your theory and your expression of said theory, but to tell me that I'm wrong and then prove that I'm wrong with just another theory? Eh. I, it's I'm just saying. not a theory. It's fact. Okay, <laughs> fact. I, I, I guess, and, and that's, that's the thing about theories, though, right? Is that it's not the... Oh, this theory is the most supported. It's oh, this theory is the most popular. Yeah, that, like, that's another thing. Um, there, there are those channels that are super popular. That you know, they make right. their theories, and so people think that is the one hundred percent, you know, can in fact this is what happened. But right. that's not the case. They're they're just people too. Like yes, they're more popular than like people like me, but they're still just people. They're just speculating. They're pulling together evidence and trying to make stories. And I think it's damaging when we try to think of anything that these people say as 100 percent canon because <laughs> if we don't allow to work from what they were saying and then build upon it or deconstruct it to different parts that make more sense with other parts then we're trapping right. ourselves into this box and we know how FNAF feels about boxes, seeing that we never got to open the one at the end of FNAF 4. Well, well, here's the funny thing, FNAF community. Um, you know, there is developers that can plan an entire universe for, like, their trilogy, and that's cool. That and you cool. know what? I think, up to, I think up to, like, FNAF 3, it was pretty planned out. Ah, uh, that's actually, that, that's what's funny. It was not planned out till then. It was not planned out. So even, so not even then. So every game is a new addition to the universe that they have to link up all their like things to, yeah. right? Which is why it feels like everything is an Easter egg at this point. Um, which means that none of your theories are right no matter what you say because it's being made on the spot. And that it, it, it is what it is. I don't what, think it's you know, being made on the spot at this point. The way I see it, FNAF 1 was not expected to be a branch into this entire big universe. So that one was supposed to be like Scott's last chance uh, at game design. And it ended up working out really well. And there were pieces of a puzzle that were like there, but there were no solid answers to that puzzle because there wasn't a story to really be told at that point. But then it got really popular and seeing kind of the direction of where it was going, Scott leaned into that lore. And that's why in FNAF Mm -hmm. 2, we start to get those things like, the purple guy, the give gifts, give life, stuff like that. We see those pieces start to come together. And Wars then we get FNAF 3. I believe FNAF 2, there was always that kind of expectation that we would be getting FNAF 3. Because FNAF 3 is where Scott said that, you know, this was supposed to be the end of the trilogy. This is where it was supposed to come to a close. Which is, a, it's a solid end. Don't get it me wrong. Really, I think after, it, after FNAF 3, it's like, it, it gets a fucking... But Dream then, shit. But like... then even still, FNAF 3, the final ending screen with the newspaper, you brighten it up, right. and there's Springtrap. He was not killed. And the biggest contention, the reason he says that FNAF 4 exists is because people said FNAF 3 wasn't scary, and he didn't want to end like that. He did not want to end on such a sour note. So then he made FNAF 4, and people complained and that the lore was too confusing. And then it's that's where even... I think we get into the newer era of Five Nights at Freddy's. I believe that FNAF, FNAF World is what branches 
the early Scott Cawthon games into the yeah. now more developed sister location Steel Wool type era games because FNAF World in the interview Daco had with Scott Cawthon he clarified that FNAF World is canon he says he wishes he didn't make it canon he says he wishes that this game wasn't what he made in that time frame but it was what he made it was part of the story. There is importance to FNAF World, despite what people want to believe or not. And so right. now, I believe that links to Sister Location. And what also released around the same time of Sister Location was the first book of the original trilogy. So at this point, I believe this is when Scott realized that, hey, this series is like William Afton. It always comes back. And that's what I believe. The series will never die. It really will never. And, you know, I, I don't care. I like it. I, I, I like Bonnie fucking staring at me right there. I love it. Um, but I believe that the series, by the time of Sister Location, yeah. knew where it was going. I believe by that point, they knew that the story was going to keep escalating. So they had to keep adding on story elements. Which it escalated to, uh, oh, oh, not away from spirits, but it, it went it into to more than spirits, remnant, agony, it, 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 Yeah, it developed into AI and mushroom, um, and and that 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 is basically what the next couple games were, um, and this game now, or at least the security breach and ruin together again is trying to implement a lot more of these things that are still going towards a more you know f like fantastical robotic standpoint uh in a in a present day like advanced present day that type of thing right kind of insane to me um i just like i don't get me wrong i have some criticisms but the thing is my criticisms only come from the fact that fnaf has really became one of the games that will never want to die out and will continue to do the same thing over and over and over again, even though there is things that will get, you know, changed. Like, like yeah, the free roam. Everyone wanted fucking free roam. Free you know? roam is nice. Uh, my biggest thing <laughs> is I, I don't hope that the characters from the original series will stay forever. I do believe there's some importance to them and to the current iterations because it helps... It helps create that bridge into what the new stories are going to be. But I want them right. to lean more into those things like the mimic and different characters that could be involved with the pizza plex. Please, God, let go of the Aftons. No. Please, God. They're like, no, the Aftons. You stay. <laughs> Dude, the Aftons are here. They're in now, the, they're in the movies, you know, and the movies. We don't even talk about how the story works in the movie because the movie is like an amalgamation. Well, that's gonna be like, things. hey, guess what, guys? Um, the FNAF movies—they're canon to the games. So you son of a bitch! <laughs> Scott just comes out on like, Twitter and he says, "Yeah, they're canon." Yeah, yeah. We actually—they murdered the, the the animatronics. They murdered children with like saw blades and fucking. Like, yeah, it's the Saw franchise. You have your Freddy mask. They they actually update uh, FNAF one where the camera for the kitchen works, and you open it up, and there's the fucking Freddy seat. They're oh my god, because yeah, because they're at they're at this point now where like, again with the Aftons, they're not talking about just oh you know, people and stuffing their souls and bodies. You and just cut out for all of that. Uh, okay, well we're at this point. Where we're not talking about just we're stuffing bodies and souls and animatronic robot Chuck E. Cheese things. We are getting neurosurgeons to fucking put brains inside these motherfuckers. Like, yeah. <laughs> dude. Like, yeah. they, there's gonna be like some government testing like arc at this point of, of like testing how people. Oh my god! With robots. Speaking of, you just brought up something that I saw while I was playing FNAF Security Breach. Oh, for real. In the back of the DJ Music Man section, after you go through the chase and stuff, those arcade cabinets yeah. in the back room, there is a yeah. desk that uh, is like one that you work on. And I saw something that looked very interesting. It was like this box. And I was like, you know, this, do this doesn't seem like something that a normal pizza plex would be carrying. So I, I yeah. went in. Uh, I used my little circle tool on my my phone because Android has this feature where you can circle something and it'll like pull up results of what it was. Mm -hmm. 
But I did it on this box, and it was a military radio. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they have military radios. I, it I was don't... a military radio. What the fuck is they... Why do they have a military radio? They they are bringing Freddy to the front lines. <laughs> that, that, that is the goal of... of oh, it's a military text. transceiver. Oh, I see, I see, I see. But this okay. is in FNAF. That's in FNAF it's security breach. Fucking crazy. We're, if we get to a point where we're out of security and we're going into private military... We've seen the fucking armed Fazbear's. Dude, it's gonna be R R R R. Dar 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 dar. Freddy with the Uzi. This is how they introduce him into Fortnite. Oh my God, didn't they, they would put Monty in like Warzone? Like <laughs> the cod lobby's filled with spring trap. Because to be fair, it's still a security game, and you know what? They haven't done necessarily private security. They've done entertainment, and then they went into security. Uh, of both the guard and you know the the the, the robots yeah. in some way, um, which if you're gonna have a high tech security who can scan and ID people, uh, chase them down, track them down an entire mall, uh, and be collected like a hive mind, I, I feel like that's definitely a place that they could put it at least not just for the the, the robots and the robots themselves, but like for um, mass creating the endos. Right. And for and and for maybe even the mimic too, because I mean, if you're, why would you not use a mimic for for yeah. some fucking private military? I get in the books they don't, in the books they do not. But it's, uh, it, it's gonna get so crazy. I, I I really hope the next story does focus on the circus, and we do get to see more of the mimic. I, I would like to see. Nice. I would like to see a circus themed game because I I feel like an amusement park would be an amazing location for the FNAF series to go to. Uh, it seems like a natural escalation to what we're talking about, especially with all the FNAF Fall Fest that we've been mm. uh, learning about. Mm. But it would just be fresh to not be in a pizzeria for once. And to... can, you play, can, you play as, can you play as a worker, please? Can you play as like a clown? We'll play I... Clown Trap from I... FNAF AR. I, so, I, I so if I see another version of Spring Trap, bro, if there's another version of any type of Spring He's Trap trapped. bullshit in this circus, I'm I'm going to hurt well, somebody. Well, it's, it's definitely gonna happen. I, I I put your put your cards on it because they, uh, dude. FNAF AR actually had an entire circus event where you get to walk around a carnival and you get to see <sighs> different animatronics. Which what what is interesting about it is you have yeah like Great Escape Golden Freddy which is Golden Freddy mm. that is chained up and in a box of water. Super interesting. Yeah. Uh, I think it's... There's another character that has a circus theme. I think it's Ringmaster Foxy or Makes something sense. Mingle. But then there's just Ballora. It's just yeah. Ballora with no circus theming. Like, she's already kind of circus themed herself. Right. But the fact that it's just Ballora in this fall fest... Is interesting because when did this take place, and why are the sister location animatronics there? Okay, so is the is the AR not? Yes, it is the AR. Is the AR game considered canon? Yeah, the emails in the AR game link up. They they bridge a lot of what happens in FNAF Six to FNAF um, FNAF Security Breach. They talk about okay. the different animatronic shipments. They talk about how Vanessa got her position in the pizzeria. They bring yeah. up a lot. Like they, they have to be canon to the series, which sucks because now you can't even play the game. Right, and I'm uh, uh, here's my thing because like even with those designs, because people you know the designs will go into certain games in some way, right, and will go into the lore or whatever else. That being said, I'm not going to lie, when I played that game first, I felt like all the designs were just basically the equivalent of, like, those uh, FNAF copy NFTs. Like, you have, like, the, you have different design themes, don't get me wrong, and they play on them. And it's now canon that they're making video games of FNAF series in some way with yeah. different designs anyway. You guys would know so that if you watch my recent FNAF. If, if, if you watch Austin Tate's recent video. But, um, but like, it's it's trying to think of an idea of like oh well you can just have these designs it's not something you can just say anymore 
because half the half the things are like, oh well, now you have the designs. You gotta make the game. Like yeah. it, it has to be. If it's in a set like this, then it has to be all together on purpose for more, not just for marketable value of selling microtransactions, but but there is to a deeper reason. Make a game. And all of the skins have they there there has to be. I don't think they're like super integral to the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's. To say that would be kind of eh. But we do know that the right. Fazbear animatronic service was a thing that exists in the FNAF universe. So these animatronics right. were something of importance. They they have right. some type of importance to the thing as a whole. And that's why I think it could be related to what the Tangle is in FNAF Security Breach. Like a, a mass a mass shipment of like these AR animatronics that have become one entity because we also mm. know that remnant plays a big part into FNAF AR and it, we can connect, we could collect dark remnant and that's what spawns shadow Bonnie, which I'm almost tempted to say that agony is what shadow Bonnie and shadow Freddy are. Wait, okay. Wait, finish off that last part of the sentence that you, that you just said. I'm trying to check something quick. Uh, I'm making an argument that Shadow Bonnie and Shadow Freddy were made from Agony. Because we okay. see a lot of instances where the... Pause. 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 Okay? I, I don't want to alarm you, but there has been certain parts where you've talked and your audio sounds like a spark is flying. Okay? Oh. So, like, every, like, three or four seconds in that last talk i heard like a little like zzz, and it would just come through and i don't know what that's from oh well i guess so I, I guess we'll be well, seeing we'll s it happened again <laughs> well i guess we'll be seeing what happens it again. what what happens when the the thing goes through because this is the end of the podcast anyways you fair enough if I listen to this and it's like popping and sizzling, we're gonna have to re-record this all tomorrow. So, oh my fuck, I work tomorrow too. I gotta, I gotta see, I gotta, I gotta see. Uh, when, 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 when do I work? I don't think I work in the morning tomorrow. So I'll, I'll, I'll be definitely doing it later uh, in the day. But it won't be, it won't be like too late. It'll be like uh, probably six. I work before. Anyways, anyways, we'll, we'll have to figure that out later. I have to listen to it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we are getting to the end of this. Uh, so, quick summary. FNAF is stressful. <laughs> FNAF is stressful. This was basically all an advertisement to the new video series where I'll be talking about the uh, FNAF Pizza Re Pizzaplex breakdown. So, you know, guys, be looking out on the channel for that. Uh, I'm putting my whole... I'm going to say it. The whole os tussy into it. So... Please, uh, please check it out it, when it comes out. Uh, I, I really do want to make solving the FNAF lore a lot easier for us. Uh, and a big part of that is breaking down the Pizzaplex into a digestible video series that we could watch and try to understand what is happening. But with that, that's all I have to say. Um, I, I would like if Chubbs would put his cans back on so I could... Just to, just to put them back, back on, you know, the, 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 the things. Just put it back God. on. God. God. I, can, I can hear the popping. I can hear it with my headphones off. Why don't you go ahead and do an outro then? Uh, if you like what you see here, uh, leave a good subscription and a like on this video. Um, you know, again, I'm twitch.tv slash chubby tone. I always, always like to stream and do stuff, but... I would not be here without my boy Austin. So, if you want to come and see the next podcast, we try to do these every Wednesday. And uh, I'm picking topic next stream. So, or not stream, but so podcast. Not FNAF. Yeah, probably not FNAF. Uh, you know, I'll make sure it's a topic that you'll understand, though, buddy. I, I promise you. But yeah, uh, thank you guys. Sonic the Hedgehog. I can't. We are not fucking doing this. Don't. <sighs> Just do it. Just... Dude, no, 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 no. I better see comments saying don't do a Sonic. If I see a single comment saying do a Sonic the Hedgehog podcast, we'll do it. But I'm, I'm not going to know anything. All right. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've got a lot of footage to go through, and I've got a, a lot of FNAF to go through. So right. thank you all so much for watching. And I guess I'll see you next time.